The year is 1920. The US is poised at the brink of a decade that would go down in history as the Roaring Twenties. It was a time of jazz, flamboyance, and a booming economy that saw the nation's wealth more than double. The heartbeat of this financial euphoria was Wall Street, a realm of reckless speculation where millionaires and janitors alike dared to dream big. The stock market soared, peaking in August 1929, but beneath this facade of prosperity, the seeds of a catastrophe were being sown. Production was dwindling, unemployment rising, yet the stock prices soared, veiling the economic abyss that lay ahead. As summer 1929 rolled in, a mild recession whispered the first omens of an impending economic storm. Fast forward to October 24, 1929, the infamous Black Thursday. A wave of panic selling hit Wall Street, marking the onset of a calamity that would eclipse the nation's prosperity. Just five days later, Black Tuesday unleashed a selling frenzy that left millions of shares worthless. Overnight, fortunes evaporated, plunging the nation into an economic quagmire. The ripple effects of the stock market crash were felt far and wide. Consumer confidence shattered, factories closed doors, and a cloud of debt hung over the nation. The gold standard transmitted America's economic woes globally, unearthing the fragile underbelly of the world economy. The despair birthed shanty towns, known as Hoovervilles across the US, named sarcastically after President Herbert Hoover. These makeshift settlements were the grim reminders of lost prosperity in a bizarre turn of events, clams became a form of currency in places like Pismo Beach, California, due to a currency shortage, epitomizing the level of desperation. At the helm was President Hoover, whose reassurances fell on the deaf ears of a beleaguered populace. By 1930, a staggering four million Americans were jobless, a number that would swell to six million the following year. As if to add insult to injury, the Dust Bowl struck, suffocating farmlands under a thick cloak of dust. Bank runs swept the nation, draining the coffers of countless banks. The winds of change brought with them Franklin D. Roosevelt, whose New Deal promised a glimmer of hope. Roosevelt's arsenal of reforms included the Tennessee Valley Authority and the Works Progress Administration, beacons of relief in a time of despair. But it was the drums of war that finally drowned the cries of the Great Depression. As World War II loomed, defense manufacturing rekindled the embers of America's industrial might. The attack on Pearl Harbor thrust America into the global conflict, marking the end of the Great Depression. The nation's factories roared back to life, and as soldiers marched to war, the grim specter of economic despair was finally laid to rest. Thanks for tuning in to Brain of History. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, stay informed.